often do you find yourself heart remembering a quote or interesting point that you read somewhere and jotted down for the future? And most importantly, how do you go about finding it again? Leafing through piles of paper, scrolling through files on your computer, thumbing through books that you might have made notes in, or perhaps you used highlights. So today I'm gonna to show you a step to make your highlights useful and accessible without you having to thumb through books or scroll through lots of summary notes that you've made. We grow up being taught that we should highlight information that's important and stands out to us when we're reading. And I remember the peak of my highlighting career being when I had one of those triangular highlighters which had a different color highlighter on every corner. Let me know in the comments if you ever had one of those. Now when you're in high school and you spend a lot of time studying a particular text or a book and you're going to be rereading that book frequently, highlighting really does make sense. Because when you come back to reread that book, you'll quickly be able to focus in on the most important info amongst all the other texts on the page. But when we leave school and enter into the real world and real life, it's a bit of a luxury to be able to come back and browse through and find those highlights in books and articles that we've already read. Now, if you're into highlighting and organizing knowledge, you may well have come across Tiago Forte's progressive summarization technique. So in step one of this technique, once you've read something and highlighted it, you take all of the best and most important highlights and put them all together into one summary note. Then you go back and you review this summary note and you go through and you bold all of the main points within each of those quotes or highlights that you've added into that summary note. The idea being that the bold text again draws your attention similar to highlighting and allows you to quickly get the gist of all the points within your summary note. And then step three is going through and making highlights of those highlights. Again, so that your attention is drawn to the most important bits of each of those highlights and quotes which you have put into your summary. And the goal here is to save yourself some time when you rediscover your past notes. Then you can start to collect and connect different ideas together. There are two main problems that I've found using this system. The first one being that it relies on you remembering where your highlights are. If you've saved a load of highlights and quotes into a summary, you're having to remember which summary those highlights might be in. And secondly, it assumes that you will regularly be going back through all of your summaries because highlights are only useful when you can see them if they're buried inside notes pages. And if you read a lot and produce a lot of notes and summaries, that very quickly becomes a huge amount of files that you're gonna to have to open up and browse through. And so ideally you want a system where you can access and scroll through the highlights themselves, not just the files and folders that have the highlights inside of them. And so we almost want to bring a highlights layer into an organizational system. And you can add each highlight individually into a system by using the atomic notes method. And atomic notes are notes that capture just one idea or concept. And so in contrast to a summary page, which is a collection or grouping of a lot of highlights from one particular source, you're able to separate them out and organize them individually because a group of highlights can span a whole variety of different topics. But most importantly, when you start using Atomic Notes, you're able to access each of your highlights outside of the source document because it exists as an individual item within your organizational system. Now you could get started using the Atomic Notes method with your folder file based system, but really the magic is in not having to open up any files to access the text or contents of your Atomic Notes or highlights. So to level up your highlighting, go through that progressive summarization technique, but start to create Atomic Notes from each of your highlights. I'll add some links to some further info on progressive summarization and Atomic Notes below. Thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you again soon.